I will show you something super powerful from Google Data Studio, just as you do with Google Sheets that you can create formulas, we can do the same on Data Studio. So I will go to this metric and I will create a custom formula. So I will go to impressions and instead of impressions, I will go to create field. Let's think of a formula we can calculate. For instance, we can calculate cost per conversions or cost per click or cost per purchases. This is just an example. If you don't find these fields as the default options, we can calculate them. So I will create a cost per purchase metric. And how it is done? I need to divide amount spent by purchases. It is as simple as that. So I will go to amount spent divided by purchases. And here we have, and I will apply. And great, according to this, our cost per purchase is about $5, but I don't know if it is dollars. So I will go again here. So I will go again to fix this function or this formula, and I will do number. And in number numeric, I can choose percent, duration, or currency. So instead of a simple number, I will add this as US dollar and apply. Now you can see that your cost per purchase is about $5. And this is as simple. I will show you another example of calculated fields. So I will do this. Let's say I will create a time series that will show me amount spent by date, which is by default something that I can do perfectly. So the dimension is not the hour of the day, we, which we can also calculate. We will do this this time with date. And I will don't want to visualize CTR, but amount spent. And I will give some more spice to this chart. So I will remove this table and I will make this chart a little bit bigger. So what can we do with this? There are many ways to do what I will do, but I will show you this example. In this case, we are using the dimension date. So we are seeing by day the amount spent. But what about if I want another time dimension like week or weekday? I will do that. So what I will do here is that I will go to this calendar and type instead of date, I will choose date and time and I will choose month or day of week. Let's see how it goes. And it works. Now you can calculate your metrics by different time dimensions. And now you already know also how to calculate your own fields. Let's do another exercise. So I will control C and control D this metric, and I will create a new one. In this case, I will create frequency. You don't need to do it because you can search frequency and you will find this field, but I will calculate it just for the sake of the exercise. So I will go to create field and then I will go to create frequency and I will say that is a new one, calculate. To calculate frequency, I need to divide impressions by reach. So I will do that. I will go to impressions and I will divide it by reach and I will go to apply. And here you have, now you know on average how many times every person sees your ads. Now you know how to calculate your own metrics. In the next video, I will show you how to quickly share these reports with your audience.